Breast cancer experts are cheering what could be the biggest developments in drug treatment in a decade. Two new medicines offer hope for longer, better lives for some advanced breast cancer patients and delay the progression of the disease. Rachel Midget is part of a clinical trial for one of them. She was diagnosed with breast cancer that spread to her liver. Over the past two years, I've you know, tried various chemotherapies, various treatments. I've lost my hair twice. She says the drug Affinitor from Novartis has allowed her to lead a nearly normal life. This has been by far the best treatment as far as quality of life. I work full time. My hair is growing back. Um, I just completed a half marathon in Las Vegas two days ago. An experimental drug, pertuzumab, by Genentech, also held metastatic cancer at bay for longer when used with other therapies. Cancer doctors say late-stage breast cancer is hard to treat, but more and more can be done to improve life. We can control that condition and we may be able to transform that condition in a chronic condition for a long time. The drug study results are part of a breast cancer conference in Texas, where experts also revealed top environmental risk factors for the disease. The Institute of Medicine report says women should worry less about using cell phones, microwaves, and hair dyes, and more about weighing too much, exercising too little, and hormone replacement. Huerta says it's best to maintain control over risk factors where possible. In that regard, eating well, exercising, stop smoking, controlling the amount of alcohol, talking to your doctor to see if you need hormones, don't medicate in yourself. Those are things that you can control. The study found little evidence of a breast cancer risk from certain pesticides, cosmetics, plastic containers, or small amounts of radiation. Carlotta Bradley, The Associated Press.